Offset printing primer. Planning. Usually the best results in printing come from good communications with your printer early on in the design process. Frank upfront talk about your expectations, budget deadline, paper selection, and binding can avoid a lot of headaches and costs later on. A rule of revisions. The later a revision occurs within the design and printing process, the greater the cost. A revision in the printing process will cost 10 times what it would cost if it was caught in the design phase. Printing methods. As a designer, you will likely be responsible for management of printing at some point. From this perspective, you will need to understand two aspects of printing, four color process printing and spot color printing. Four color process printing. Four color process is commonly used in offset lithography and engraving print methods. Four color process printing is a standard print method where full color images appear realistic to the eye, but in fact are printed only using four colors, cyan, which is blue, magenta, which is red, yellow, and black. The acronym for this is CMYK, where K stands for black. Printers start with an image they want to reproduce and create screens of that image in each of the CMYK colors that when aligned at precise angles reproduce the image in tiny dots on paper that appears to the eye to be realistically looking at a full color image. If you intend to print a photograph, you will use process color. Each of the four colors that make up four color process, CMYK, requires its own ink station in the press. To the untrained eye, most four color process looks pretty good. Upon closer examination against its PMS spot color counterpart, most process colors are muddy and darker version of their bold and clean spot color counterpart. Spot color printing. Spot color is used where clean, solid, bold colors are desired. The use of spot color printing is a standard print method where one or more single spot colors are printed. Each color in your design is assigned to a specific Pantone matching system, that's PMS number, and is called a PMS number. That identifies the exact color. A PMS spot color is specifically mixed ink predetermined to exacting specifications set by the Pantone matching system guidelines. Spot color printing is commonly used in screen printing or as an additional colors added to a four color process job when the designer demands that the printer obtain a more precise precision color match on press for certain colors, like the depiction of a logo. Spot colors cannot print full color images, but they're used to print exact colors in a solid color laydown. Spot colors are used to obtain an exact color match and maintain consistent constant color across a large solid background area. Since four color process attempts to portray all the colors in nature by using just cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, process color obviously has a hard time hitting the mark in some specific colors. Four color process has a hard time matching many colors with precision, especially beige and secondary colors like orange and greens. It also is not possible to achieve a metallic pastel or day glow color in four color process. So there are many times when the use or of additional spot colors for printing becomes necessary. A perfect color match may be achieved by adding a specific PMS spot color to the four color process. Cost increase as additional spot colors are added. Flat and gloss varnishes are also printed as spot colors. Each additional spot color requires its own ink station on the press. So adding one spot color to maintain a constant solid background and another spot color to maintain an accurate logo color will add two additional ink stations to your four color process job so you'll have a six color or six station job. Aqueous and varnished coatings. As the name implied, aqueous coatings are water-based. They're fast drying and do not yellow with age as, as UV coating does. Varnish coatings are oil-based. The designer may select from high gloss, matte, or dull finish. Coatings are generally used as an overall flat coverage to protect the printed piece and to seal the ink coverage on the paper. Ultraviolet coating offers a depth of unmatched gloss, but is expensive. It holds fingerprints and is not environmentally friendly. Calendar coating is a good cost value option to UV coating. Printing checklist. One, meet with the printer early on in the design stage to ensure that what is being designed can be printed. Two, establish the job schedule, cost, delivery, and deadline. Three, be sure the printer has the fonts for the job attached to the print files. Four, define the file prep requirements expected of the job. 
Five, does the color have to match other existing printed pieces? Six, is the final product to be boxed, shrink wrapped, and in what quantities? Seven, define the types of coatings or spot colors that will require additional passes on the press. Eight, are there areas like logos that require an exact color match? Nine, if printing on clear film, will you need one pass or two passes of white ink, these are called bumps, behind your color? 10. Discuss the possibility of any color density or ghosting issues with the printer regarding your design. Paper selection. Your selection of paper has the largest impact on your printed piece, deter determining the final color, the impact, its sharpness, level of gloss, and amount of detail. Five aspects of paper selection. Cost, brightness or whiteness, surface finish, that could be like a gloss, a dull matte, or a silk, opacity, and weight. Paper stock. All white paper stock is not the same. Better quality paper will be brighter and whiter than less expensive paper, which tends to have a bluish cast to the sheet. The brighter the sheet, the more impact your printed design will have. A great way to see this impact is to slip a high grade paper sheet into a stack of low grade paper, which it's you're already printing on. Then you'll be shocked at the quality difference between the brighter that the brighter sheet delivers. Just a slight overall blue cast on a sheet of paper effectively compresses the entire value range of your image. As a designer, your job is to find the right balance of cost value and that what's right for your brand. Everything you need to know about paper printing. Paper is a thin, flat material produced by the compression of fibers, usually composed of cellulose, that's wood pulp, but sometimes made from vegetable fiber, cotton, hemp, linen, and rice. Paper is specified as to coated or uncoated stock and comes in various brands, grades, finish weight, size, color, opacity, and brilliance. Paper finish. A paper's uniformity, its coating, texture, feel, and appearance is referred to as its finish. Paper weight. This refers to a paper's thickness and is measured in pounds. The higher the number, the thicker the paper. Paper opacity. A paper's opacity is determined by its thickness, ingredients, and absorbency. A paper's level, or opacity, determines the amount of show-through from the reverse side of the sheet. Opacity is expressed in terms of a percentage of reflectance, where complete opacity is 100%, and complete transparency is 0%. Show-through is a measure of opacity determining the ability to read the paper sheet below through the top paper. Paper finishes. Coated stock. Coated stock is a waxy finish, a shiny or matte clay coated stock film that provides an excellent surface for printed for color process images, delivering a slick corporate look and feel. In general, glossy coated papers are used for brochures, product sheets, catalogs, posters, and postcards. Uncoated stock. It's a natural, untreated surface, dull and non-reflective, providing an earthy human texture with soft reproduction qualities due to its ink absorbency characteristics. In general, uncoated stock is used for letterhead, envelopes, business cards, newsletters, and laser printed documents. Paper classifications. Coated one side, or C1S paper, is a stock that's shiny on one side and dull on the other. Coated two sides is termed C2S, and that's a paper stock that's shiny on both sides. Wove. Wove is a, a, wove is a smooth, uncoated surface. Laid. A line textured finish used for business stationery. Linen. Similar to a laid finish, but linen stock is finer and more regular and used frequently for business stationery. Laser, a paper stock specifically designed to be compatible with laser printers. Bristol, Bristol is a board stock with less strength than tag or index stock. Bond, it's lightweight stock used for stationery. Book, that's mass production uncoated text. And cover is heavyweight stock for covers, business cards, and brochures. Newsprint, it's lightweight, uncoated, inexpensive roll stock. Index. Index is less stiff than heavier weights cover stock. Offset. That's moisture treated cover and uncoated. Specialty. That's any paper with special features. It could be metallic, a deckled edge, plastic, clear, reflective, and handmade are just a few examples of specialty stock. 
Tag stock, that's a versatile and strong stock. It's heavier than tech stock. Text. Text weight is a universal paper utilized for flyers, posters, inserts, text pages, etc. Paper characteristics. Paper offers a wide choice of the following characteristics. Receptivity, that's absorbency. Holdout, that's ink retention. Gloss, that's reflectivity. Brightness, op opacity, color, extension stiffness. Fade resistance, that's the sunlight, porosity. Aging, moisture resistance, weight, structure, that's if it's fluted or, or not, finish, uh, specialty papers like metallic or plastic, paper types. There are generally three classifications of paper relevant to most designers, each possessing a distinct purpose. Bond, or writing paper, text paper, and cover stock. Brochure and book page signatures. Books, catalogs, images, and large multi-page jobs may be laid out differently on the press sheet depending on the size of the press, number of pages, and finished size. The layout of your pages on the press sheet is called a signature. Large finished pieces may require several signatures to be bound together, like a book. Your printer will determine which option is the most economical and avoids color problems on press. Common bindery methods are spiral bound, Saddle stitched, perfect bound, hardcover.